1906, Winter Project Club founder Theodore Roosevelt commissioned a group of fellow members to devise a scoring system that would <laughs> recognize and tabulate conservation success, species by species, animal by animal. And for over a century, and across 38 North American big game trophies, the club has collected some 60,000 big game records that track the success of our conservation model relative to wildlife populations and overall excellence in nature. A handful of these represent world records. And today, the world record was broken. And that doesn't happen very often. The Boone and Crockett official score of the new world record big horn sheep is 216 and 3 eighths. And that's really a cause for celebration of all of those who care for and about our wildlife and the habitat upon which it thrives. This is now officially the new world record bighorn sheep. The ram was scored by an official measure to begin with. That score chart came to the Boone and Crockett headquarters in Missoula and that score at that time was 216 and 3 eighths. What that meant is that we had a potential world record on our hands. It was panel judged earlier today. It's been rescored. And what that means is that we're looking for any mistakes. There's a total of 10 measurements on both sides of the horn that will count for the final score. The other thing that's going to happen is there are differences from side to side. Um, that will deduct from the final score. These are the books that this trophy will go in. In our original book here, we had one and a half pages. From one and a half pages to 32, smaller print, bigger pages, tremendous story. The trophy itself came from Wild Horse Island in Montana. First sheep put on Wild Horse Island was in 1939, two sheep from the Mission Mountains. In 1947, six more bighorn sheep were moved to the island from Sun River. In 1987, two bighorns from the Ural Tweeds area of Lincoln County. So only 10 sheep were put on the island. But starting in 1954, an incredible 561 bighorn sheep have been translocated off the island. 488 to areas in Montana uh, in uh, 16 sites, I think 26 actions. And there were six export app actions to Washington and Oregon of 73. So 561 <coughs> bighorn sheep repatriated into historical habitat from a source stock of originally 10 bighorns. And I think it's uh, pretty evident of the genetics that come off that island. This was a picked up trophy. It wasn't shot by a hunter. And the Boone and Crockett Club's records program accept, accepts all trophies. Even if they're, they're a natural kill and they're picked up, they can be entered. And we feel that's important because the, the purpose of the records program is to honor the trophy. The emphasis is on the animal itself, and what it represents from the standpoint of the quality and quantity of soil, vegetation, and space, and water conditions for those animals, and, and a place for them to, to live a life where they can express the quality of, of habitat types. So I'm Randy Newberg who uh, said, conservation is never easy, never comfortable, and often inconvenient. But in part, what brings us here and what we have in Montana is a rich, rich history of bringing diverse groups together to preserve and to protect our wildlife, our wildlife habitat, and our public lands. This is really about a Montana conservation success story. This magnificent ram and Wild Horse Island State Park in particular are another chapter in our story of conservation success on this continent. This special animal is proof that our wildlife management model is working thanks to dedicated wildlife professionals in our state and federal agencies, funding from sportsmen and women, and groups like the Wild Sheep Foundation and those who support this great organization.